Hello, first graders. This is Mrs. Baker. And this week, every single day, you are going to be working on a writing project. You are going to be writing another narrative. And in your classroom, your teacher probably taught you about how writing writing a narrative is writing about a tiny moment or a small moment something that happened in your life we sent home with you your blue writing folder many of you made a collage of photographs on the cover of it and inside of your blue writing folder you should find a blank packet for writing a narrative you're going to need those materials today Okay, so next we're going to review how to write a story. And your teacher spent a lot of time working on this when you were in the classroom. So the first thing that you need to do when you're about to write a story is you need to think of an idea. So you need to think of a thing that happened to you or a thing that you do. You might look at the collage of photographs that you made for the front cover of your writing folder and get some ideas from that or perhaps you're just going to think of something that you did over this winter break something that happened over your holiday season maybe something that Santa happened with Santa or some of your family something for Christmas something for New Year's you might think of one little tiny moment of something special and choose to write about that the next step is for you to plan. And remember, when we plan our stories, we start with our strategy of touching and telling. Touching and telling is when you're going to touch the paper and you're going to talk out loud about what you plan to write. Let me show you on my paper. Okay, so here you see my paper. I don't have anything to write with and all I'm gonna do is touch and I'm gonna touch using my little arrow from the mouse and I'm gonna talk to you about my plan for writing. My plan is I'm gonna write about a day that it was a Sunday and I was cooking in my kitchen and two of my sons, Jacob and Lucas, were watching the Browns football game with my husband, Mr. Baker. I'm gonna turn to the next page and on the second page, I'm gonna touch and tell what happened next. The Browns, it was getting near the end of the game and it was a very exciting game and the Browns scored a touchdown. Jacob and Lucas and Mr. Baker got super excited. Now I'm going to turn to the third page. And on the third page, I'm going to touch and tell again what happened next. What happened next is that the Browns scored a touchdown, they won the game, Jacob and Lucas and Mr. Baker started screaming and jumping up and down and shouting. But the only problem is my little puppy Lulu was laying on the carpet. And when she heard all the screaming and saw all the jumping up and down, she got super scared. She got so scared that she jumped from the carpet onto the couch. She jumped over the couch and she came running into the kitchen and sat on my feet. That's my narrative. That's my plan. So you can see that the next part of planning is when you sketch across the pages. And remember that a sketch is just a quick drawing with a pencil. You don't add a lot of details. You don't add colors yet. You just want to get your ideas down on the paper because these sketches will help to remind you of what you plan to write later on when you go to write your sentences. So let's take a look at my sketches now. Okay, so you'll notice that my sketches don't have a lot of detail, but they tell my story. Here's me kitchen in the kitchen, and I'm cooking at the stove, and there's some food that I already have set out. And here you can see one of my sons, and he's watching the TV right here. On the next page, I sketched my son sitting there, and they're starting to get excited. They're clapping, and you can see the Cleveland Browns is on the TV. Now let's go to my last page. And here's my last page of sketches. You can see that the Browns are celebrating. My sons are shouting and jumping up and down and screaming. I have quote bubbles. And here is Lulu about to jump clear over the couch and run to sit on my feet. And now, finally, you're ready to write. And so for today's lesson, today in Google Classroom, your teacher has included that after watching this video, you're going to pick your topic, you're going to do touch and tell, and then you're going to sketch across the pages, and you're only going to write the very first page of your story. So maybe a sentence or two, maybe three or four if you're a really strong writer, but you're going to write what happened on that first page when you sketched. 
and then you're going to stop and tomorrow you're going to be working on the second page on Wednesday you'll be working on the third page and then we'll have another video on Thursday to talk about what will happen next so go ahead pick your topic touch and tell sketch across the pages and write page one